Welcome back to Breakfast Television. It's just before 7.30. Taking a look at TGI Fashion on this Friday with Nicola Lowen from Mad About Style and Spring Looks. We just went over the colors. Now we want to focus on the patterns, which are just as huge. Just as huge, yeah, and just as fun. Okay, first one, Taylor, come on down. So Taylor's got on what we're seeing lots of is this graphic print t-shirt. So we're seeing lots in sweaters, lots in the tees. This is your chance to have a ton of fun with a t-shirt and just throw anything on. Hers particular says Seaport Town. It's got the great anchor. It's really nice for just that nautical feel going into spring, summer. Uh, bright colors, of course, which are incorporated into that. And we've just paired it up with a nice bright blazer so it can not be as casual. You can dress it up as maybe an evening type piece if you're going out with some girlfriends on the weekend. Yeah, a great way to bring in color through the jacket. Ex exactly, yeah. If it's a fairly plain t-shirt, add a pop of color there too. And of course, we've added the pop of color in her yes. footwear as well, which is really fun in that just really bright mint green color. I feel like we're seeing a lot of the mixing and the matching with these colors. A lot of it, for sure. And it is still that color blocking idea from last year. Uh, the colors just aren't as vibrant as they were. They're again going back to that more pastel color. Very nice. All right, thank you, Taylor. Now, Lindsay, come on down. Of course you think spring, you think flowers. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. This is one of the funnest prints that we've seen in a while. Last season, a lot of the prints were a little bit softer. This year, the florals are gonna be a little bit more on the edgy side. They're brighter colors. They're mixing them with more neon prints, darker black tones all together, which is really fun. Uh, Lindsay's got it on in this great high-low uh, floral print. So again, we're still seeing that style of dress for this season, um, but really, really fun colors in there. Do you find this cut high in the front and then low in the back? It is quite a, a difference. There we go, we'll get her to spin there. Is that complimentary on most? You think? Yeah, I, we've called that a mullet skirt. And a mullet. Yeah, <laughs> so which is really fun and it is a really flattering cut for a lot of girls who want that longer look in a dress, um, but maybe they're a little bit shorter so they can't do a full length piece. Whereas if right. you do this, you get just that little bit romantic feel in the back, but it's a little bit shorter in the front so it's not cutting you off. Well, Lindsay's very tiny and it looks awesome. Yeah, so. it's gorgeous on her for sure. And when you are looking for floral prints, look for something that's winding down the middle of the dress because oh. it can actually be fairly slim so you can use these prints to your advantage. Excellent. All right, thanks, Lindsay. And we want to bring out Jen in the maxi. In the maxi. So obviously a must-have for the season is a great maxi dress, whether it's going to be strapless or a razorback, definitely a must-have. But she's doing it in one of the must-have prints, which is that stripe. So lots of the bold stripes, lots of the wider stripes. So you are seeing some of the thinner ones as well too, which is really nice. Now when it comes to maxi dress length, even Jenna and Brittany were talking about this in the corner, it can be hard. Brittany's tall, Jenna's short. It's exactly. hard to find the, the length. I feel like they're finally perfecting that. So they are doing a mix of both lengths. They are doing more of like an ankle length maxi dress, which is nice for somebody that's a little bit on the shorter side. Because if you do belt it, you're bringing it up a little bit more. Uh, there are maxi dresses that are coming out that are extremely long that need a wedge or for somebody that's taller can definitely do that too. So they are playing on both for both. So ideally you want to just brushing? Just brushing brush. on the floor. Um, unless you've got a fantastic shoe, you can do something that's a little bit more ankle length too, uh, especially if you're doing a boot as a more transitional piece. Oh yeah, okay. Um, but generally a maxi does brush the floor, but it can hit at your ankle as well. All right, well thank you so much, Jen. Fantastic looks for spring, and again, they're going to be out on the floor at Matabo Style on Academy tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. What time are you opening? 10 o'clock, 10, 10 till 5. 10 a.m. <laughs> Get you in the spring spirit to head down to the store, and they'll have all the spring looks for you, fresh from L.A. and Las fresh Vegas. LA. Exactly. There you go. More BT coming up. Stay with us. And if you did